Hey guys, Dave here. It's a beautiful day, the sun is shining, and I'm going to make up one of my favorite family dinners, sweet and sour chicken. So forget your takeout tonight, you can make this at home. So let's get started. So we're going to kick things off here by making the sauce. And to do this, I'm going to combine half a cup of pineapple juice. And this is from the can of pineapples that I drained. Followed by two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of water, a tablespoon of vinegar, a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. And last but not least, three tablespoons of ketchup. There's a mix here until everything is nicely combined. Okay, what I've got here are three boneless skinless chicken breasts that I've cubed up. And we're gonna crack an egg into this. Add in a quarter cup of cornstarch. I know guys, I should have used a bigger bowl, but uh, I didn't and this is what happens. Season it up with some salt and pepper and get down and dirty with my hands and just kind of massage everything together until the chicken's coated with the mixture. Now I've got my vegetable oil all heated up here and this is about 350 degrees. We're going to slip the chicken in and fry it in batches and this is going to take, oh, I'd say about five minutes. You might want to flip the chicken over halfway through so it browns evenly because nobody likes to eat burned chicken. And if you don't want to deep fry it, you can always bake it at 350 Fahrenheit, 177 Celsius for about 20 minutes. Okay, now the chicken is browned beautifully, we're just going to go ahead and set it aside on a plate. So what I've done here is drain the excess oil out of the pan. And I'm going to throw in half a chopped onion, three cloves of chopped garlic. I'm also going to add in a cubed up red bell pepper. Now you can go ahead and use a green or a yellow if you like too. So we're going to saute this for a couple of minutes, just to the point where the red bell pepper is tender crisp. After that, throw in your drained pineapple chunks, and this is around 500 grams. Give it a quick stir for a couple of minutes here. I just love the way this dish comes together. I mean, look at those colors. Next, it's time to add the sauce in. Now, I'm not going to stir this or anything. I'm simply going to let it come to a boil. After a boil, we're going to add the chicken back in. Give it a good mix until the chicken is fully coated with that yummy sauce. Lastly, add in the diluted cornstarch. And give it a final stir until the sauce thickens up. Mmm, wow, this smells amazing. And there you have it guys, our sweet and sour chicken. Serve this up over a bed of steamed rice. And garnish it up with some spring onions just for some freshness and colors. Mm, wow, this is so incredibly good. I mean, there's a perfect combination of sweet and sour, but it's beyond that. There's just an explosion in my mouth with this combination of flavors. I love it. Just can't stop eating it. Gotta try it. As always guys, if you like this recipe, give us a thumbs up. And for all the details, head on over to cookandshare.com. We got tons of recipes over there you're gonna love. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.